Hi, welcome back. Valerie, a stitch in life here. So today I altered my baby's um, onesie. It is uh, a long sleeve and it has um, legs in it, pants in it, but it is, um, let me think, I think it's three to six months. So <laughs> it's just too small for her. And the easiest way to alter this because it still has a lot of good life in, in it is to just cut it at the waist and add length to it. So I showed you I used the marker this time. I didn't use chalk because of the dark color of the fabric. It was just easier um, to use the marker because I'm going to cut it and sew over where I marked it anyways. Um, I just kind of made a mark in the middle waist area. And these are shorts that are my girls, but um, I decided to use those because they have a lot of shorts and it's not summertime right now um, and they won't fit them next year. So I'm just going to use those. It's the same kind of stretch to it. And um, I'm going to mark it and cut it the same way. And I'm, I'm just going to cut um, along the edge as well and cut it in two. And this will make the waist. The thing that the waist extension, the thing that you have to check is how much does this garment stretch and how much does the fabric I'm using to add to it stretch. It has to have the same stretch to it. An easy way to do it is to put a ruler down and stretch it as hard as you can and then remember how many inches you could stretch it and then do it the same with the other fabric and you can see how much um, movement it has. If it's similar, if it's pretty close, that's good. If it's really off, um, don't use it. Use another one that's more like that fabric. So this is going to be the waist extension and when I am cutting it and I'm squaring it off and I'm making sure that it is just a rectangle. It's not really that angled on the sides um, because this garment is kind of straight up and down. It's not like a women's garment. <laughs> but I am leaving like an eighth of an inch on either side. So, I'm sorry, a quarter of an inch on either side so that I have seam allowance. So I'm not putting it right on the edge. You see there's a little bit on the other side. So I'm just making sure it's going to be straight down when I sew it. And I'm marking it because when I serge it, it's going to cover up that marking. Just using little marks, not like full on <laughs> painted marker on there. And then I do the same with the other side, giving it a quarter of an inch um, extra for seam allowance. And I like these onesies because they... Um, are just a full outfit. It's hard to dress babies sometimes, <laughs> uh, especially if you dress them in dresses. They, it's a hard time. They have a hard time crawling and their dresses flip up and, oh, it's just, it's kind of annoying. So if we're at home, I really just put them in these cute little onesies. And since it's winter time, I like the long sleeve ones and the ones that have legs in them. So that's what it's going to look like. <laughs> quarter inch, quarter inch. And I'm seeing, well, that might be a little bit too much. So I, I trimmed off some. It's always good to start bigger and trim down, obviously, because you can't add it back <laughs> without it looking kind of funky. So you definitely want to start bigger and, and trim as you go. And that looks more because it'll be a quarter inch on the top and a quarter inch on the bottom too. There you go. That looks good. So I make sure the fabric's right sides together and I'm going to serge the side seams first and then add it to the garment. Another way is to open the side seams on the garment and add it that way. But this is so much easier. That just seems like you're adding extra steps to do it that way. And I like my serger 
I have a Bernina. It is very old. <laughs> it's probably, um, probably almost 20 years old. I betcha. And it still works great. And you can see it's kind of angled a little bit, so I'm gonna make sure that I <laughs> do it um, right side to right side and also the top to the top. And I just put it inside, right sides together, side seams, you can pin it at the side seams and then just kind of stretch it around. And you wanna stagger the side seams, you probably hear people say that. Um, if you're a seamstress, you want the side seams of the garment to go one way and the side seams of the panel to go the other. So it's not so chunky on that inner seam, intersection, sorry. And then when you're doing this, you gotta make sure that the label in the back, so I'm gonna pin it. <laughs> this happens quite often. You get it twisted around and it's going the wrong way. So I just mark it and mark it and mark it. So I'm gonna pin it there to make sure that is the back of the garment. And then when you look at the pants, it actually has this extra, not all of them do, but this one does. It has like this extra little crotch piece that goes around the butt. So you need that, that is the back piece. And so I have to make sure that I'm pinning the right side to the right side and double check, right? <laughs> check twice so once sometimes when you have to rip things out you don't want to do it again you kind of learn the hard way <laughs> so they're right sides together and I just put it right inside the other one easy way to do it and surge it together and you know I Sometimes if you have extra surging like the legs, you can't really lengthen the legs because of the snaps there. And sometimes it's the arms that are short. Isn't that cute? It totally turned out. But you know what? You could cut it there and add a little piece there if you wanted to and it and it adds to the design. Anyways, it didn't need to be lengthened in the arms. It actually worked out. So that was a very cute, easy, quick way to alter those onesies. Those onesies sometimes don't last very long and they're still good. They don't, there's nothing wrong with them. Um, and they're the best kind of outfit for babies to wear because uh, they snap in between the crotch and they don't ride up and they can get them dirty and it's not a big deal because they're pretty inexpensive and um they're comfortable too and you can layer layer with them with sweaters and pants and whatnot so i've altered many onesies like that not just for babies but for my toddlers as well so yeah let me know in the comments how you like that project and show me you know on Instagram, you can hashtag a stitch in life and see, you know, we can do some of these projects over there. And I'd love to see if you tried it too. Thanks for watching. Bye.